peace and quiet. First day of the holidays and it seems Dennis has finally discovered the joys of having a lie-in. Ah! Quarter to eight! Wait! Bye, Mum! Bye, Dad! Dennis, your breakfast! <laughs> Dennis! Have you made me face, washed my bed, changed my hair, combed my underpants? Yeah. But why all the rush? First day of the halls, Mum! Got to get out early and do stuff before the town gets to... Busy. We are not waiting in that. OK, no worries. I got a plan. Stand aside, folks. Stand aside. Official business. Oi, who are you? Government taste inspectors, sir. Ice cream division. Well, that was a kid's bus pass. Ah, uh, that's cos we're... Undercover. Undercover? You just told me who you were. Look, are you going to let us taste inspect your ice cream or do I have to call for backup? <laughs> Hang on. Ain't you the dopey one what hangs around with Dennis? Don't be daft. He doesn't wear glasses like these. Oops. Oh... Maybe try the zoo instead? <laughs> OK, no worries. I got a plan. <laughs> ah! Run for your lives! A lion has escaped! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I know this bit. You got a flan, right, Dan? Plan, pie face. I got a plan. Never again. Those rides were way too extreme. Yeah, wouldn't go in there unless you like being really sick. <laughs> wow, cool. Let's do it. Oh, OK. Looks like this may require some serious thought. Is that Neptune or Uranus? So, actually, if we want to be sure we don't have to wait around tomorrow, the easiest thing would be to get rid of everyone in Beano Town. So easy in the sense of really, really hard, then. If people were pies, that'd be easy. Come on, guys! Ideas! How do you vanish 10,000 people? Ha! Once again, Genius wears a striped sweater. Excellent. Not a star out of place. Just the way I like it. <gasps> What's that? Whoa! Looks like an asteroid! And it's heading straight for Beano Town! Polish me, kit bag! I think you're right! Impending Armageddon via asteroid collision! Better alert the neighborhood watch! Neighbourhood watch here. Red alert, Corporal. We have a 196. Repeat, a 196. Impending Armageddon via asteroid collision? Are you sure, sir? Positive. Sound the alarm, lad. Repeat, this is not a drill. Beano Town must be evacuated immediately. Dennis, B. We're in the car, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's go! <laughs> now that is what I call extreme menacing. Better get some sleep, Nasha, cos tomorrow we've got Beano Town to ourselves! <laughs> well, lads, who's for ice cream? Uh, Dan, minor problem. Uh, there's no one to serve us. So we leave some money and serve ourselves. How hard can it be? Uh, OK, look for some kind of big squirty lever thingy. Go! Yeah! 
For us all, I had this with me last night. Uh, what's that there, Colonel? Well, starch me, civvies. I do believe I've been deceived. What? But who would do something like that? Dennis, do you know? <laughs> I don't like to think what they'll do when we run out of... Ice a big bunch of menacing monkeys! <laughs> ha! Come on! A one, two, three, four! You sure this will work, Dad? Are you kidding? The din makers appeal to the ape in all of us! <laughs> yes! Now back to that fun fair! Dennis! Inside, right now! If there's a way you could make matters worse today, Dennis, I fail to see it. Oh, you will. Ah! Hey, Den, coming out to... Oh, what is that smell? Gorilla poo. Mum made me clean up the house as punishment. Well, you could have had a shower, mate. Nah, cos I got a plan. Come on! Four cones, please. <laughs> oh, look, there you go, on the house. Now clear off. You're killing my business. Result. <laughs> you know 
what, Nasha? We deserve a rest after such a hard day's work. Avoiding homework. Time for homework, Handin. Any second now. Flea-ridden hound! Shoo! Avoiding chores. Dennis! Dennis! Your turn to mow the lawn! <laughs> and beating Walter to the last ice cream. Ice cream! Ice cream! Only one left! <laughs> Jen, look what my dad got us. Tickets to the premiere of Flat of the Palm 5 at the cinema tomorrow night. Starring Crank Power Up. Ha! Ha! of all time. Yeah, and even better, he's going to be there to meet his fans. Cool. I can't wait to show him his special move. Crang! Oh! <gasps> What's this? A canned pie? No, Den. It's a can of giggles. Just arrived today at Mr. Ha Ha's. Fantastic! Careful, Den. It's infectious. <laughs> Out. I'll see you later. So, what shall we do now? We'll have to make our own fun. If I hold me breath, maybe I can hold back these hiccups. <gasps> Here goes. <gasps> Polish me kit bag. That's the worst case of whooping wallop I've ever heard. I know how to get rid of that. Tomato juice, a splash of milk, spoonful of mustard, topped with a squeeze of sour lemon. Cross fingers that the Colonel's recipe works, B. Your aunties are visiting later and I've got to clean up. OK. I'll see if Mr Ha Ha's got any ideas. Seeing as it was his can of giggles that caused the problem. 
could always get some more pies. That's no replacement for having Dennis around. Uh, why so miserable, boys? Having fun just isn't any fun without Dennis. And he's struck down with hiccups. Hiccups? No, oh, there's only one way to cure them, with a sudden fright. <laughs> Mr Ha Ha? <gasps> Problem. <gasps> Can of giggles! <laughs> Hiccups! Oh dear! Did you open the can in a confined space? <laughs> There's your problem! <laughs> that's not hiccups, that's giggle ups! You need this special supplement. <laughs> the Can of Giggles Guide to Curing Giggle Ups. <laughs> Cure number one balancing a pencil on your nose. Hmm, surely that's too easy. Not when it's the ha ha mega jumbo pencil. Mr. Ha Ha's right. This is pretty tricky. So, we sneak up behind Dennis with this balloon and kaboom! <laughs> what are you two up to? Oh, uh, what? nothing. Nothing. Cure number 23. Shout as loud as you possibly can. <laughs> oh, how would Crank Power Up do this? Crank! <gasps> For goodness sake, Dennis, go to the park where we can't hear you. All right, I will. I know and I'm not <laughs> wanted. <laughs> Looks like they're going to the park. Come on, I know a shortcut. He should be good enough. He's coming. Ready? <gasps> Crang! Oh! <laughs> now what? Oh, 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 nothing. No, just having a laugh. <laughs> just messing about, you know. Guys, I'm trying to cure me hiccups. <laughs> and you're not helping. <gasps> <gasps> Flash. Wow, pie face. How did you do that? My sister taught me crochet when I was little. Cure number 79. <laughs> Quick, get ready to ambush. Hmm. Drinking water? There has to be more to it than that. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Result! Curly, pie face, what are you playing at? <laughs> it was your grand's idea. She said a sudden fright would cure your hiccups. No good, guys. I'm fearless, remember? But these cures don't work either. They're useless. <laughs> at this rate, I'll miss the movie and I'll never get to show what crank power up with special move. Dennisy Wennessy. Our favourite little nephew. Oh. <laughs> 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 I knew what would give Dennis a real fright. Sloppy kisses from his loving aunties. <laughs> you were right, Gran. My hiccups have gone. I'm cured! Now I can go to the movie and meet Crank Power Up. in crunch of fists three, Mr Power Up. What do you think? Very good, Dennis. Perhaps one day you will follow in my footsteps. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, I know just the thing. Hello, Auntie Beryl, could you and Auntie Brunella pop down to the cinema? I've got a bit of a problem here and I think you're the ones who can sort it out for me.
you think of this then, Nashie? Skateboarding without the effort! <laughs> OK, hold tight! <laughs> What is it, Nashe? Oi! Hooligan! What? What? I found the ideal material for our new kitchen curtains. Look. Oh, yes. Very nice, dear. And it was the very last piece they had. It's perfect. I'll have my dream kitchen at last. Ooh, you haven't got far with the painting, though, have you? I'm taking extra special care, dear. You can't rush a good job, you know. Hmm. All right. I'll go and look for curtain rails. Bye! <sighs> One other thing, dear. Uh, yeah? Whatever you do, don't let anything happen to that material. <laughs> of course not, dear. I'll guard it with me life. Shame about the kite, Nasha. But it wasn't big enough anyway. No, what we need is a big sail so we can go really fast. Dad, I want to make a sail for my skateboard. Got any ideas? Why, what? So perfect, years, and now look at it, ruined! Um, I, I couldn't possibly have me sail back, could I? No, you can't. I'm confiscating it. It's a danger to public safety, and so are you! But you can't do that! It's not yours! Can't I? Watch me! No! Wait! Hello? Dennis, where are you? Are you bringing that material back? Yeah, I'll be right there, Dad. Just uh, um, having a chat with the Colonel. Oh, right, Nasha, this is getting serious. <laughs> well, might as well get some use out of it. I've always wanted a hammock. 
Magnificent. That's well out of order. Right. Surely he doesn't think I'm going to fall for that old trick. So the little ruffian wants a battle of wits, does he? Well, he's going to find he's bitten off more than he can chew. He's so clever. Let's see how he copes with this. Come and get it now, if you dare. <laughs> he hasn't reckoned with your mighty munch power, has he, Nasha? <laughs> And I know how to get there without him seeing us. <laughs> have to stay calm. <laughs> stay calm. <laughs> breathe. Don't forget to breathe. <sighs> hmm. No sign of him. What's he up to, eh? We must be there. I can feel something. We'll have to get it out the way. Go on, Nasha. Do your stuff. <laughs> Find something to block it. Oh, dear. Son? Oh no, not that one. What? I changed my mind. I thought we'd have this one instead. What do you think? Oh, oh no! Here, over here! <laughs> Oh, oh, nice one. And Dennis, we've 
moves. Past the defender. He shoots. <laughs> goal! Oh, goal! On it, son! Pass! Pass to me! Pass it! <laughs> we have suspected naughtiness at Beano Town Park. Uh, I'm in the park now. Uh, out. Oh, now where did they go? Aha! And it all hinges on this final penalty kick. He shoots! Takes the ball! Oh no! <laughs> do, do. What the dickens is going on, Slipper? Well, it's that Dennis, sir. That child, Dennis? All this is the work of a child? Well, he's no ordinary child, sir. Uh, run me ragged for years, he has. I think it's time you had some help to catch him. A splendid trainee of mine from police college. Smashing fellow. He's sharp, efficient and has legs like tree trunks. Sergeant Slipper, I think it's time I introduced you to Sergeant Boot. Come on, Nasher. Let's skate. Whoa! Wow! What was that? <laughs> Someone's taken the wheels off. <laughs> Who are you? Boot, Sergeant Boot. Oh, good. I think someone's stolen the wheels from a skateboard. I know, I did. Health and safety. Skateboards cause damage to public property. Now, empty your pockets. Oh dear, very dangerous. It's a yo yo, it's just a toy. <laughs> Yo-yos used irresponsibly also cause damage. Danger neutralised. Now, we must examine all your possessions for possible hazards. Good. That's all the dangerous stuff. Though, this dog is an Abyssinian tripound, is it not? Riddled with fleas they are. He'll have the whole town scratching. Better put him in quarantine. Just to be safe. Put, 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 Wait! Come back! Nasher! What kept you? Nash is in trouble. We've got to help him. Boot confiscated our wheels. And the seats. And my little silver bell. Never mind that. Come on! Wait, Mr Ha Ha. Don't close up yet. We've got to mount a rescue operation to get Nasha back. No children allowed in joke shops. Order of me. Boot, where's my Nasha? Locked up, horrible flea bag. Don't you dare say that about Nasha. On your way, or I'll run you in for aggravated cheek. <laughs> Congratulations, Boot. All these fine arrests. Outstanding. No tennis, though. Only a matter of time, sir. As soon as he steps out of line, he's mine. Get out there, Slipper, and if you can't measure up to boot, then that's what I'll be giving you. The boot. Get it? Nah, the boot, Slipper. But I've already got boots, sir. Uh... Out! Poor Nash is in a cage. And it sounds like Sergeant Slipper's boss wants to give his job to boot. Well, I'll fix him. Look out! Shall I compare the... Come on now, break it up. We're just reading poems. It's a front for mischief. From now on, no children will be allowed to congregate in groups larger than... one. What about chess club? <laughs> That's harmless enough, surely. Too dangerous? But we just sit on chairs. Chairs mean danger. What about drama club? Out of the question. And safety club? Far too dangerous. But it was Sergeant Slipper who set up the safety club. Well, I think it's safe to say Old Slipper will be looking for a new job now I've single-handedly cleaned up Beano Town. Now go. Trouble with Boot, Walter? Yes. He's a rotten spoil sport. Almost makes you miss Slipper, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Such a polite, charming man. <laughs> OK, don't overdo it, Walter. But, yeah, Slipper's all right. And now Boot's after his job. Oh, my. Who's in charge of Beano Town? Yeah, if only old Slipper could show him up. K. 
catch a few criminals of his own. Not very likely, though, is it? Maybe he could do with a little bit of help. What do you say? Well, just this once. Thanks for these, uh, walkie-talkies, Mr. Ha Ha. Fox One, you ready? Uh, Foxy Fox Man One, ready? Now remember, Pieface, you're trying to get Sergeant Slipper to catch you. Gotcha. <laughs> Oi, stop that! Now, uh, I'm fairly certain that's littering. Oh, my tail's fallen off. Right, you. You're... <laughs> Fox One, did Slipper catch you? Uh, oh! Ow! Not exactly. Littering, eh? Naughty boy. Fox One, Fox One, hello. Fox Two, come in. You ready? Yeah, Fox Two ready. Hey, what's this? Uh, vandalism, eh? Yep, on purpose. Oh, dear me. Oh, I'm going to have to book you, Curly. Now then, uh, where's my notebook? Um... Um, Sergeant? Ah, no excuses. Oh, ow! Did he get you? Not quite. Vandalise the mare, will you? Into the van. Fox 3, come in. Yes, Fox 3. Oh, my. I hear footsteps. Sergeant Slipper's coming! <laughs> oh! Sergeant Boot! Oh, Walter. You're a long way from Safety Club, aren't you? Oh, my! Oh, what a mess! But you still have Fox 4, don't you? Of course! Fox 4! Go! in the high street. All units to the high street. Over. Aha! A proper arrest. <laughs> I arrest you in the name of the law. Oh, Sergeant Slipper. I've met me match. I'll come quietly. No, you don't, Slipper. He's mine. I suppose this is your doing. No, sir. I can explain, sir. I have subdued a dangerous rogue biker, sir. What's this? Oh, I was having some trouble controlling my mobility bike, you see. And a policeman was helping me. <laughs> and then this thug left on board. But, sir, she's a menace, a dangerous criminal. <laughs> she's only a little old lady. Indeed. Looks like you've been working too hard, Boot. Oh, here comes that nice policeman now. Such a kindly, polite gentleman. Uh, what happened to the rogue? Thanks for helping me, Grand Slipper. Yes, good lad, Slipper. My apologies, madam, uh, and to you, Dennis. Uh, I leapt to conclusions. Now, see the lady home, Slipper, while I have words with Boot about this great big hole in my police station. Catch you later, Fox Four. <laughs> what are you two grinning at, eh? You look like best friends. Friends? Really? You'd hardly expect me to associate with a common lout like him, would you, Sergeant? And I definitely don't play with big wussies like him. No. No, of course you don't. <laughs> yeah, me too, pal. Good to have you back. I must admit, the place hasn't been quite the same without your hairy friend. <laughs> Although, he still hasn't learned any manners. <laughs> everything back to normal, eh, Walter? Hmm, yes. Everything back to normal. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, damn. Oh, no. Oh, This time, you've gone too far, Dennis. It was only a water bomb, Dad. I was just having a bit of fun, and Sergeant Slipper got in the way. Fun? It's time you learned that you can have fun without being a menace. Impossible! You really have to start learning how to act more grown-up, Dennis. Who, <laughs> me? Yes, and lesson one starts with you helping out at my old class reunion party at Beano Town School today. School? At the weekend? Not another word, Dennis. It'll do you good to see how well grown-ups behave. But school? Grown-ups? Oh, can things get any worse? I had to ask, do you have to dress up like that? It's on the invitation. Everyone has to wear traditional school uniform. My two boys off to school together. I'm so proud. That'll be the rest of the gang. The gang? Why didn't you say Pie Face and Curly were coming too? Hello, Dennis. Is your dad in? Come in, boys! Have fun! Oh. Come on, Nasha. I can't face this without you. Are you enjoying meeting all of Daddy's school friends, Walter? Oh, yes, Father. Everyone has been simply lovely. <laughs> Until now. We're here, boys! Ah, uh -huh, good. Dennis, what are you doing here? Dad made me come. What's your excuse? I thought I'd help Father make this a memorable reunion. That's the attitude. You could learn a thing or two from this lad, Dennis. Yeah, like how to be really boring. Hey, I thought the invite said school uniform only. That's odd. None of these other invites mention anything about... No, there must have been a mix-up at the printers. <laughs> mix-up at the printers. <laughs> That's a great... Hey, I smell a rat nasher. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! Dad's been set up! <laughs> <laughs> I should have known old soppy socks would try to make us look bad. Well, what are you going to do about it? Do? You can't let that sneaky swat get away with it. You have to get even. Nonsense. We're adults, not children. <laughs> That's taking the retro look too far. <laughs> I know. I guess some people just never grew up. Sad, really. You're not going to let him get away with that, are you, Dad? You, I, you, no, I am not. If he can play silly schoolboy tricks, so can we. Just this once, mind. Brilliant. Oh, oh for, for fun. fun. And fun for all. <laughs> <laughs> just like old times. I get the feeling this lot are going to need our help, Masha. Five, six. This is the spot, boys. I hope it's still in there. <laughs> Bingo! Our secret school war chest. <laughs> Stink bombs. Itching powder. Launcher rackets. And these! One of my better inventions. A boomerang? With the emphasis on the boom. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Just a little something I knocked up in detention. I mean, chemistry. <laughs> OK, fellas. We've got launcher rackets. All we need now is something to launch. That's where I can help out. Great. They'll do nicely. I'll pretend I didn't see that. OK, gang, let's go to work. Looks like Dad's changed his mind about water bombs, Nasha. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> OK, let's have a picture of your wonderful teacher, Mrs Creature, and myself to remind us of our reunion ball. Ready? Steady? Fire! <laughs> Father! Dude. Maybe we should try that again, son. I seem to have something in my eye. Bullseye! <laughs> 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 oh, so, so, so. 
I think that's us all square now, gentlemen. You're all squares if you stop now. There's no need to cause more trouble, Dennis. It's job done and time to enjoy the party. Right, fellas? Um, yeah, let's get down there before that lot scoff all the grub, eh? But... When you were at school together, was Dennis's father really voted most popular student every year? Yes, but I've made sure he'll not win this time. This time, it's my turn. That's not fair. We've got to do something, Nasha. All right. The time has arrived for everyone to vote for the reunion's most popular student. Congratulations, Father! Not yet, Walter. Make sure you judge your choice on their manners. Ready? Their intelligence. <laughs> Aim. And, of course, their style. Fire! <laughs> Wait a minute. I recognise those. Dennis, put my boomerangs back. Uh -oh. Your boomerangs? I should have known you'd be behind all this. Like father, like son. Come here at once. Me? No way! Dad didn't do it. I'm sorry, Mrs. Creature. It's all my fault. If I'd behaved more like a grown-up than a menace, none of this would have happened. Far too late for apologies, I'm afraid. You've behaved so badly, I'm going to have to call your mother. Oh, no, not my mother. Come on, Nasha. It's time to prove who the real menace is around here. Serious? He's been causing half a at his old school, throwing water bombs, cakes. My boy? Oh, it's a mess. Are you sure you don't mean Dennis? <laughs> OK, I'm on my way. This I've got to see. Your mother is coming to take you home, young man. Leaving the rest of us to enjoy the party without any more. Bravo! <laughs> gotcha! Dennis! Stop that boy! Ha ha ha! We have him now! That's the only way in or out! There's no escape this time! You were saying? By naughty boy. <gasps> Mrs. Creature, what have you done? Dennis? Oh, I get it now. My grandson's arranged this room to get me here for a high five! <laughs> what fun! I'd like to ask you all for a show of hands to vote on this year's most popular student before things fall into total chaos. I vote for you, Father. I vote for my gran. The fun didn't start till she arrived. That's yes, right. Gran. 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 I vote for her too. That's gran. 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 You heard, Big Ears. My gran's won. Thanks. I'll weld this to my helmet when I get home. Speaking of which, you're all invited to continue the party at my place when no rules are the rule. <laughs> Nasha, our work here is done. It's a shame you lost out on the trophy. Yeah, at least Soppy Socks lost out too, though, eh? And we've kept it in the family. With a little help from you. And you. Oh, and Gran. Talking of which, let's, let's go party! party! All for fun! <laughs>